guys. So, spoiler alert, CeraVe has created a fantastic product, in my opinion, or one I really like. It is their new hydrating sunscreen sheer tint. This is an SPF 30 mineral tinted sunscreen, of course, free of added fragrance, no aggravating ingredients. I have really been happy with this, you guys. I've been trying it out over the past few weeks. It um, does not pill up or ball up like their prior mineral sunscreen formulations. I don't know if you remember back to my high protection mineral SPF video, but getting the um, CeraVe mineral sunscreen, they, they reformulated it a while back and the newer formulation of just the untinted mineral is like super clumpy and you know, just difficult to put on for lack of a better word. And I, I was like, oh no, forget this. And so I, was, I had reservations about this new hydrating sunscreen with tint. I was like, how is this gonna go? And I've really been impressed. They really did a good job. It, um, like I said, it doesn't ball up or pill up. And as far as how it looks on the skin, I'll put it on for you guys in this video. Um, but it doesn't look greasy or shiny. It actually gives a really nice glow to the skin without being greasy. It feels a little buttery when you're putting it on and you're putting it on the skin. Similar to how um, like the uh, MD Solar Science sunscreen, the tinted one that I've recommended to you guys that I love, you know, it kind of has that buttery feeling as does coats. This sort of has that, but it's also moisturizing. It's, it's a nice moisturizing vehicle. It really just, at least on my skin, I think it looks really nice. The tint is not perfect. It's better than many on the market, but the tint to the sunscreen is not perfect. It will actually be perfect for some of you, but not perfect for others. It's a little, for me, orange on the orange side. Um, so, you know, if you find that every sunscreen that you've tried that's tinted kind of has that pinky look, this is definitely not like that, but it is more, it's more on the orangey yellowy spectrum of things. If you have, uh, you know, kind of medium darker skin tone, you you may like this. But you know, I think very dark skin tones may find that it's it's just not a good look either. And you know, if you're super super fair, you may find that this kind of makes you look look a little a little <laughs> orangey. Uh, but for me, you know, I can kind of get away with it. But where I don't blend it in on the sides of my face, you can definitely see like she's got some kind of pseudo orangey looking coloration going on there. It's not water resistant and it does transfer to, to your clothing if you're not careful, which is annoying this time of year when you're wearing like turtleneck scarves and, and sweaters and stuff. You have just more fabric bulk around your face. To get, to get the sunscreen on is kind of annoying. So it does do that. It's $16, which is not the most inexpensive sunscreen or the most expensive sunscreen out there. Uh, so, you know, depending on your budget, that may, that may seem unreasonable, but you know, I think it's worth giving a shot. They did a really good job with it. Aside from the orange, not maybe not being the right color for you. Uh, I think overall the formulation is nice. I wish it, it were water resistant, but I wonder if they come up with a water resistant one, if it's going to do that that clumpy bally thing like their, like their non-tinted mineral sunscreen does. I do believe that this will go well with under makeup. Um, if you wear mineral powder makeups, I think this will work quite well. Like I said, it doesn't peel or ball up off of the skin. The reason I like tinted sunscreens though, uh, is that for mineral sunscreens, namely, they mask the white cast that is not exactly cosmetically pleasant to cope with. Looks odd. Uh, so they, they camouflage that to a certain extent and the CeraVe one really does. Like it doesn't, even though the color is not perfect, it doesn't do that. It's, it doesn't go on streaky or chalky where you're like, what did you just paint all over your face? It doesn't, it doesn't look like that. It's either too orangey for you just because of the color or it's fine. Um, but as far as the way that it looks outside of the color, it blends on smooth and seamlessly. But what I was gonna say is the reason I like tinted mineral sunscreens outside of just camouflaging the white cast is that they have iron oxides in them. That's what gives them their tint. And iron oxides are an ingredient in the inactive list that actually can protect against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. 
So I really love for people coping with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, dark spots, melasma. I really push these patients to use a mineral sunscreen that is tinted with, you know, as they all are, iron oxides to get that added protection because those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light uh, are contributing to persistent hyperpigmentation. It's very acne friendly. I don't have anything overtly negative to say about it other than, you know, I, I wish the tint were more universally acceptable or maybe that they would come out with more tints. I think that would be a better, better change because uh, this is going to actually work fine for several, pe you know, many people. Um, and then my other, you know, kind of I wish it were better type thing is that I wish it were water resistant and maybe a higher SPF. But I think with those features, you come with the trade off of making something that people, you know, might be harder to formulate into something that people like to use. I've been recommending this actually to patients with acne uh, because, you know, A, they need a sunscreen. Um, and, you know, a lot of times they're nervous about sunscreens. A lot of sunscreens break them out. This is very acne friendly. And then the other reason, of course, is that iron oxides will protect against uh, pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light that can make the acne heal with hyperpigmentation. So I've actually been, right, you know, recommending this. Um, I, you know, I always recommend Coats Natural Tint. Uh, you know, it's a higher SPF and it's water resistant as opposed to this. And it, you know, it, that one's really great. Uh, but this is a nice alternative. You know, you can't always find the Coats one or whatever. So they did a good job with it. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, I always get comments about Australian Gold Mineral Botanical Tinted. That is an option as a tinted mineral sunscreen. I just don't recommend it because I had a terrible reaction to that sunscreen. It's like one of the only skincare products where I've gotten like a frank irritant contact dermatitis. Um, and I attribute it to either the cockadoo plum or the eucalyptus. And eucalyptus is, you know, kind of fragrancy. And so I, I, I think that that's a problematic ingredient. So I don't recommend it, but it is an option if you're looking for an affordable mineral tinted sunscreen. You know, many people use it and love it, uh, but I don't recommend it for those reasons. But I've had a few patients who have gotten this on Amazon and seem to be very happy with it. Um, and I noticed that it's getting good reviews on Amazon. There aren't any reviews as of the filming of this video up on their website yet. Um, but yeah, I really like it a lot. And I definitely think it's worth giving, giving a shot if I haven't already said that a million times. Um, so comment below if you've tried it, what your experience with it has been, but they nailed it. You guys, I've been really happy with the products that CeraVe has been coming out with this year. Even their retinol serum was a win if you want to try a retinol product. You know what CeraVe needs to get their, get their hands on next is coming out with an adapalene. I mean, La Roche-Posay came out with, with, with one and you know, now they need one because if they did, then they can make a whole acne routine. Listen, I know somebody from CeraVe might be watching this video. Sometimes they do thumbs up my Instagram post. So if you're watching, they should totally launch a, an adapalene. I'm sure they have, I'm sure they have the adapalene in a vat in their lab or whatever. Or they should just come out with an adapalene. They can make a whole acne routine with their new benzoyl peroxide wash the adapalene which can be combined with benzoyl peroxide and a tinted mineral sunscreen that is a great that is a great acne acne lineup so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe